There has been a nationwide teacher shortage you've been hearing a lot about. It was exacerbated by the pandemic, a lot of teachers out, quarantine and all this, so we need substitutes. Well, <laughs> check out what happened at one school in Utah. Eighth graders needed a substitute. Look who they got. They got the governor of their great state. Yes, he was uh, dealing with the shortage there. They're facing shortages just like a lot of places. So the governor pitched in after an executive order that actually gives state workers approved leave time to help in the state schools. So joining us now is the governor himself, the governor of Utah and occasional substitute teacher, <laughs> we might add. Governor Spencer Cox, thank you for being with us. So you actually had to or felt compelled to issue that executive order. So give us a sense of what the teacher shortage is like there in the state of Utah and how you're doing. Sure. So in Utah, we uh, we are the fastest growing state in the nation, according to the census over the past 10 years. We're also the youngest state in the nation. Uh, we have more kids per capita than anywhere else. And we had a teacher shortage before the pandemic. And as, as, as you all mentioned, that, that has been exacerbated by the pandemic. And of course, with uh, with Omicron, uh, we saw lots of teachers out. Uh, and so this, this is a problem. We have a, a labor shortage in Utah as well. Our unemployment is 1.9 percent, the lowest in our state's history and the second lowest in the nation. Something we're very proud of, but, but it, it causes some of these problems. And, and we have to keep kids in school. We know how important in-person learning is. And so um, I, I encouraged our, our state employees. We gave them 30 hours of paid leave to, uh, to volunteer, not just as teachers, substitute teachers, but as cafeteria workers, uh, bus drivers for those with a CDL, uh, those, any of those positions to help our schools stay open and stay staffed. And uh, we, we don't like to ask people to do something we're not willing to do and so I, I, I felt I, I needed to step up and show how important this was. Uh, what, is, uh, what kind of reaction are you getting? Are you seeing signs though that this is actually uh, helping to in, increase that pool of substitute teachers in a, in a significant way? Yeah, we, we have hundreds now of, of state employees that are volunteering and helping out. Um, we've heard back from uh, superintendents. They're, they're grateful that we're, we're uh, allowing a, a new pool of resources for them to take advantage of. Even as we're coming out of Omicron, we anticipate that these, uh, these staffing shortages are going to continue for a while. And, uh, and so it, it is making a difference. And, and not just making a difference in the schools, but making a difference in the lives of our, of our people and our employees, and, and specifically in my life. Yeah, and specifically, Governor, I'm curious, did you learn anything from your time there as substitute teacher? What did you take away from the experience? <laughs> Yeah, I did. I, I taught three classes that day, three of the four classes that this teacher would normally teach. They were seventh and eighth graders. I was teaching history, so something I, I fortunately know a little bit about. Uh, these, these kids were, were just incredible. Now, the teacher didn't know I was going to be the substitute, so she, she prepared as she would for any substitute. I appreciate that teacher putting in the time, even though she was homesick, to get a lesson plan ready, made it much easier for me to step in there and, and do her job. I, I will tell you, I was exhausted at the end of the day, um, but but I, uh, I I left with a, with a, a new sense of gratitude for our teachers and our students, our families, everything they've been going through, especially over the past two years. Well, look, if you were exhausted at the end of the day, then you were teaching. Uh, good job there. And I was look, I was going to put in air quotes teaching. This isn't just necessarily babysitting, right? Not not everybody has a teaching certificate and has to have uh, uh, some teaching experience that can substitute. But still, you, the expectation is that you get a lesson plan and you're, you're in there still continuing the learning for these kids. No, that, that's exactly right. I had a lot of people tell me on social media, you know, just put on a movie and you'll be fine. Um, but, but that's not what we did. We, we, we want to keep, keep these kids learning. And, 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 that's, and so there, there was a full lesson plan um, for those eighth grade U.S. history students. We were, we were teaching about the Jamestown colony and, uh, and everything that happened there. Um, for the seventh grade students, we were teaching about drought in, in the West. And that's something that we're dealing with here in the state of Utah, uh, talking about having them come up with ideas on things that we can do uh, to, to help solve the drought crisis in the West. Um, th these were real learning opportunities, and, uh, and I'm grateful for, for the, again, the teachers that put in the time to make it easier for those of us that are stepping into their shoes for a few hours. Did they call you Mr. Cox or Governor Cox? I'm just uh -huh. curious. 
Yeah, so again, they didn't know who I was, <laughs> most of them, when I stepped into the class. They didn't know they were, they were getting the governor, uh, but, uh, but, but I told them to call me Mr. Cox and uh, not treat me any differently than they would any other substitute, although I did have two security personnel out in the hall just in case. <laughs> yeah, they, they figured something was afoot there. All right, Utah Governor Spencer Cox. Mr. Cox, thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate you for being on the show again, and come back anytime. Thanks to both of you. Yeah, that is cool. We've seen this in several places. Uh, yep. Superintendents, other people having to step up. Yep. But uh, that's funny. The governor is your substitute. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.